One of the nation's elite aviation schools has completed a 14-year expansion project that it hopes will translate into double the student body in coming years. 13 on your side's Brent Ashcroft heads to the wild blue yonder with Western Michigan's College of Aviation to profile what pilots of the future now get to experience. Wherever I'm at, I can see the outside airspace, which gives me an opportunity to see airplanes flying. How's it going? It's like an airport. Our lights are designed like propellers. Hallways are not hallways, they're concourses. Classrooms could be called gates. What else? They love the smell of jet fuel in the morning and they want to smell it and they want to see it. Others prefer the smell of coffee in the morning, but to each their own. Uh, yeah. TSA here to pat me down and take my shampoo too? TSA is friendly. We're a little bit even more friendly. So what are the amenities? We needed to go from four classrooms to 11 classrooms. We had six pilot briefing rooms. So we needed to expand that to where we had 25 pilot briefing rooms. When we came out here in 1997, so nearly 25 years ago, our students never had a place to eat. So they had to go out into the community and find food or eat out of vending machines. Voila, a cafe. So that the students could get nourishment and food in between classes and flights and labs and things like that. The student experience has improved, making it easier for them to go from zero to 3,000 feet up bring us in more students in less time than it takes to get clearance from the tower because of the amount of flying that we do third or fourth busiest airport in the state of michigan brent ashcroft it's a great day to be an aviation bronco for sure 13 on your side